Hey guys, um, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to basically gate or blur vocals. Now if you heard, uh, for example, my Feel It remix where I have um, at the beginning, the that, that's the effect that I'm using, the blurring of the vocals. Um, that's basically how I refer to as. And if you want to achieve that effect, um, I'll show you how to do it in this tutorial. First of all, I have the acapella from that song. So just so we can use it, um, and it sounds like this. So we want to basically blur it in the beginning to have a smooth transition into the vocals because we don't want it just coming out of nowhere. So what you have to do is once you have your vocals, now this is pretty long, so um, I guess I'm going to cut it. Okay, so I'll just cut it to there when he stops saying that. So this is our new audio clip. So if we want to blur this, basically um, the way I do it is um, I'll clone it. So right click and clone. So we have another copy of it. When we have the second copy of your vocals, right click on it, go to edit. So we now have it open in Edison. And there's a few ways of doing it, but um, you can use the blur tool in Edison. And the way you do that is select all of it. So just hit Control A, go to Tools, and go to Blur. Now there's the amount of blur you want. If you want some delay, the amount of mix, um, you can preview it, as well as you can put the point. So if you want it to progress in, um, you know, go from zero to 100 percent or directly go into the blur. Um, I'd recommend it to keep it like this so it's you know kind of progressive. Hit accept and we have this. Now it's still not ready yet. Um, once you've done that you want it to fade in which is just a really simple technique. Go to tools, hit fade in and when we play it again we get this effect. So when we combine that with the original vocal we get um, the blurring of the vocals. Now, if you want to do a really long clip, you have to do the same thing, but the thing is, if you blur a really long clip, or for example, if I only wanted to um, use this, but make the blurring like twice as long, in that case, you have to stretch it, and you usually blur it twice, just to make sure you don't hear the... Um, the kind of cheesiness or the distortion caused by the time stretching. But that's the basic uh, thing to it. You have your vocal, you clone it, open it up in Edison, um, blur it, fade in, and just throw that on the playlist. So we have that on the playlist here. Go back to your uh, step sequencer and find vocals. Okay, that's the normal vocal. So here we go. Now I just arrange it so it overlaps it. So it'll be something like this. Let's just double check. Let's uh, reduce this. So the, the effect would be this. But obviously, you do want it to be right on beat. And um, you can, you know, add different effects, a, a reverb. Um, you might want to make it a bit smoother by adding a bit more fade-ins or whatnot. So those are the basics to blurring the vocals. Um, this is really good in terms of making remixes and whatnot. It really complements towards the song or where you're coming towards a break or just entering a chorus. So I hope this help, uh, helped you guys out. And uh, leave a comment on my video, rate it, share it. If you have any specific questions, just leave a comment on my channel or message me.